These days have been more humbling than usual for people, and very much myself included. Not just for the situation that shall not be named and thought about all the time on the news, but lately I've just been in one of those moods where I wonder if what I'm doing matters, if what I've done has some sort of impact on people, and even if I'm just a good person. Our society as a whole has a very toxic and seemingly unobtainable standard for what success means for a person. Even if you do keep up with the Joneses or have a great job and a good relationship, there will always be something imperfect about yourself or a standard that you just can't obtain. And if you're like me, I was feeling self-conscious enough to buy extra ice cream to finish, which... Ha, huh, bit on the nose there, Ben and Jerry. Using the tools of game making, game developers both indie and mainstream have found therapeutic ways of dealing with self-doubt. To the Moon nailed that with their romance surviving the odds. That track and Cancer sought those questions with the developer's own spirituality. Earthbound had a surprising level of psychological depth for its time and how it dealt with the Ark of Ness. Everything is going to be okay had an almost too real take for me, and last year's Spirit Fair did an excellent job examining self-doubt and different support systems. And this year was no exception. Call it fate or just good timing, because the game I have today has a familiar and timeless message that I really needed to hear again. Before Your Eyes is a game where you awaken in a sort of purgatory greeted by a strange coyote ferryman. You're recounting your life story to his character, whose job it is to get you into the afterlife. He's sort of your legal representation, with your tale to tell to the gatekeeper, whose job it is to send you to the pearly gates. Or, judging by this footage, it might send you to a city in the clouds or the sea, involving plasmids, big daddies, and psychological allegory. You make choices in the game with different paths that you can take with what you want to do with your life, and the story will change depending on your choices. The game also comes with a very unique twist. The game encourages you to use a real-life webcam in order to capture your eyes, as your real-life blinking is how you interact with the world. In the story of your life, you literally blink your eyes and it cuts forward to another memory in your life. Sometimes in a short amount of time and other times years ahead. You're sort of your own video editor in the story. Graham Parks, lead designer and creative director of the game, states that part of the goal of their team was to make a game about, quote, enjoying the moment. We want to have a game about learning to accept and not trying to fight against the flow of time. This is a game that is almost humbling yourself to the fact that time is pushing forward no matter what. The mechanic absolutely supports the idea for humbling yourself and not worrying too much about the bigger picture of whatever a successful person is. The game savors moments of letting you watch your neighbor friend pretend to be a warrior, the first time getting a pet cat, or even something simple like seeing a billboard on a car ride. Part of the lesson the game offers is that these moments are to be cherished, even if they're seemingly mundane. The blinking mechanic isn't just limited to how quickly you go through the different scenes, as it has a few tricks up its sleeve. You make choices for yourself and what you'd like to focus on in life, here an example that your mother wants you to learn the piano. You have to literally stare to be able to focus on playing the piano at a young age, and your mouse pointer has to stay on the keys the whole time. As the pressure mounts from your mother and your family, you'll have to literally focus more on the keys as they'll be harder to hit. The game uses small mini-games just like that to emphasize the pressures you go through, with exceptions from your family and even yourself. They have even more weight to them if you choose to see the girl next door, instead of practicing for your audition. The blinking mechanic does admittedly sound like a bit of a gimmick, and truthfully, it literally doesn't always work for me. It would detect extra blinks and would take several times to register them properly. Admittedly, I have the unfortunate curse of having glasses on, and the game does mention that can be a factor. This can cause extra cuts in the game that you didn't intend, and for the story to have sporadic pacing, even more than intended. You can calibrate at any time, and if need be, you can switch to a button on the keyboard instead of blinking if you want to. And before anyone mentions it, yes I do need to put away my laundry and make my bed, thank you very much. The good news is that the game wisely keeps this in mind. The blinking thing, not my laundry. It sets the really important moments in the story to play through, regardless of how it registers your eyes. For people's various webcam setups and qualities, it will have inevitable technical shortcomings. But the blinking mechanic is thematically perfect for the story that it's telling. Not to give a lot away, but it's not easy for yourself and the main characters in the game. Things fall short no matter which route you take, and your life isn't a grandiose adventure filled with intrigue and romance. Parks would invest in an interview where he said, quote, There is a dark side to having grand ambitions. I think our culture celebrates greatness rather than just plain goodness. So you internalize this idea that your life will have been meaningless unless you achieve certain goals, and you start to live with your head in the future, focused on who you want to become, rather than who you actually are. I wanted this story to challenge that, and to bring people back into the present a little bit. 
For anyone of any profession, from a retail worker selling products behind a counter to the CEO of the company they're in charge of, both will tell you that life will not go as perfectly as they intended. That's part of why the blinking mechanic works as a story mechanic even when it literally doesn't. Blinks you don't intend to happen move you forward just how life will have unintended things happen to you. It's a sort of meta element driving the whole theme home, and things do very much happen to this family, in part thanks to the stigma of what success is in life, but mostly of no fault of their own. But don't get me wrong, this game is not a marathon for depression and pain. It won't destroy you the way that dark and cancer can destroy you. The game has laughter and subtle touches of humor. Its similes in its world building are clever as hell, and the blinking mechanic has surprises of its own. But the main crux of the story is that things happen in your life that you're not too happy about, and the game is helping you accept it. There's even a joking achievement where you have to recalibrate the camera 10 times as a subtle hint that not everything will be perfect. A lot of what the game has to say really hit home for me. For myself, I seek validation in really unhealthy ways because I can be hard for myself to please. The game's theme of having the world presented only through your point of view is that every person can be blinded by the negative. You're your own worst enemy because you can't always see what others do. The game comments on the picture you paint for yourself, and my ending had an absolutely beautiful letter that I've replayed 20 times since writing this episode. And in retrospect, I've featured games on this show that are a vaccine to my own cynicism. To the Moon, That Dragon Cancer, Everything is Going to Be Okay, Spiritfarer, and now Before Your Eyes all share the same message. And my sincere thanks to the talented team at Goodbye World Games. It's a message that I need to remind myself again once in a while. To anyone listening to this, I mean this with complete sincerity. Your life matters to someone. Regardless of how much time you spend on this earth, you have someone out there who believes in you, who appreciates you, and cares about you. You make a difference in people's lives in more ways than you could possibly know. You matter. And I matter too. And I matter too. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed my take on Before Your Eyes. It's one of my absolute favorite games this year, and if you have a webcam, I highly recommend playing with it. If you'd like to be notified of more videos, I'm sure you know what to do, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Hit the bell, subscribe, like, comment, or just send me more Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Thank you so much for watching, and please, take care of yourself.